So as you can see, I've currently got Dragon's Dogma 2 downloading, ready for when it releases on the 22nd. However, if you go over to the Microsoft Store and you type in Dragon's Dogma, maybe obviously it's the same for all of the other platforms. However, I can only really show you Dragon's Dogma. If you go here, you could get the Dragon's Dogma 2 character creator already where you can go in and create a character before the game even releases. So without further ado, in this video, you bet that I'm going to be going into Dragon Dogmas 2's character creation and uh, we're going to see how in depth we can go ready for the release. Let me know in the comments down below how excited you are for this. As well, in the description below, we've got a Discord. And in the Discord, if you're going to be playing this game and you're going to want to have a community that can help you out, give you tips, tricks, everything, as well as Skull and Bones, Rainbow Six, and many other games, go to the Discord in the description below. Join up and then obviously pick your role for the game you're playing. So obviously display language, voice language for me is that. I'm just going to go over. I'm going to show you what it's going to be. I'm going to go there. My minimum brightness until it's barely visible. I'm just going to do there. Wow, they've got quite a lot of stuff. Adjust until the picture in the center disappears. But please check your max min brightness. Okay, so that's not going to completely disappear. But I'm okay to have it like that. So I'm going to confirm. Auto feature creating save data. And then let's go in to Dragon's Dogma 2 character creation. So character creator and storage start game. Let's go ahead and do that. Obviously, I've already purchased a full game, but you could do it in here. Or you could go straight here. The character you create could be carried over to Dragon's Dogma 2. You can also make edits to finalize character or customize them from a blank slate using the character creator. So, as you can see here, we've got the Horizon and we've got the main pawn. The Horizon is the character you will control throughout the game. And your main pawn is a loyal companion who will accompany you throughout your adventure. So let's go ahead and create both. I did not know that we could do that. We can see here we can make multiple characters in this video. And the purpose of the video, I'm just going to make one pawn and one character creating the horizon. Uh, maybe I've probably said that wrong. Let me know in the comments down below. You can either select a preset or choose to customize your character from blank slate. So let's uh, choose a preset and see what the presets look like. So we have got this person with the locks. We've got the lion character. We have got... Uh, it looks like a feline, another feline. Obviously, f these are now normal. And there's many of character presets that you can go ahead and choose. Maybe I've got to turn up the brightness ever so slightly. But I'm actually going to go back and create new so we can see all of the in-depth. So you choose a race, body type, and a base head to determine the character's basic appearance. You will then be able to make further edits by selecting Customize. Once finalized, the Horizon's race cannot be changed. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose just your standard male. Now, I do like the idea of the giant. giant, and But you can see there's loads of different body types here. So starting from here, moving all the way along to choose the base body that you can have. I don't know whether to do a really tall guy. I'll just make it look. I'm going to go for the normal straight down the middle make my character look almost as realistic as possible we're going to adjust and see what is in there so adjust the face suit your liking by making selections over three stages you will then be able to use the head you have chosen as a base for further customization okay perfect so let's choose the base of the head that we like and we're going to look here at, at key features on the face to see what actually happens all right so we go right bumper there's more obviously moving over one tab there are more types of faces that looks like smeagol Column. Let's move over to the third tab. Go up to the top. Yeah, again, they've all got that really mysterious Lord of the Rings look. Um, looks rather cool. We've got the older person there as well. So there is definitely age in this. Nice to know. It means you can make like a Gandalf the Grey a wiser character. I mean, the detailing looks really, really good. You know, you can make a Denzel Washington. Or a JP... Is it Morgan? I think it's Morgan Freeman. That's what I was probably meant to say. Right, let's go and pick just one of these standard faces. I'm going to go for facial shape. I'm actually going to go and pick that one for facial shape. Now, I don't know what I'm doing here. Base head, base head two. Wait. So we can actually pick multiple base heads just in case we don't like the way the first one looks. But yeah, let's do, let's do that as base head two. Oh, right, and it kind of randomizes it. I wanted the first one. I like the first one. He looks evil.
We're going to go off of... Mm, no, I don't like it. So I wanted that face shape. All right, I can go for the same one. So I'm going to pick the same one again. No, I'm still going to go for that. You select a base head. Would you like to customize it further? Right, okay. So when you select one, you go to the next tab and you can go and choose it. So here we go. Wow, this is extremely in-depth because we can see the height. We can make the person really, really tall. We could do the torso. <laughs> oh, wow. I can't wait to see your character designs in the Discord. We're going to have to do some cool images, funny images. Let me know. Put your characters in there because I have got to see this. This is going to be absolutely hilarious. The builds you guys are going to be making. So we're going to do that even though I haven't got any muscles. And there is multiple different ones. Muscle strength. So we can go over and we can obviously put it as we want. I'm just going to go and put it like in between. So we go for a nice healthy 80 there. Um, trap size. What? You can actually increase your traps? This is madness. Upper body muscle mass. Wow. This is ridiculous. I've not seen this in a game before. This creator is amazing. Obviously, uh, we got we got to know what we could do in terms of cheeks and stuff like that. Uh, not not the cheeks on this side. I'm on about the cheeks on the face. But we still get to test that as well. Upper body size. What does that mean? Oh, right. Okay. That's what that means. You can't go any skinnier than that anyway. So we leave it like that. Lower body size. Okay. So you can have thick thighs. Colt, I know what you're doing. If you're watching this, you're definitely going to be going for them thick thighs. Um, and then we can see their weight at the bottom. Wait. Wait, so the more we add, is that adding to the weight? No, it's not. It's not adding to the weight. Okay. Right, I got you. I got you. So we're going to do that. We can toggle equipment as well, guys. So you can see what your body looks like with equipment on. So you don't look completely ridiculous looking before and after. Let me change the lighting as well. The lighting. I like that. You've got this feature in the game. Wow, and that kind of gives you a spoiler as, as to what the worlds are going to look like. I love how they've put it all, all the in-depth here as well with, with all the different worlds and all of the stuff that's going on. Right, so we've done that. We can now confirm, finalize that. Um, we've gone for the race. Now, we go back to the body, actually. No, base head. We've done the base head. Detailed customization, right? So we actually just did only the body. So let's go down to the head, the head size we can see here. We can obviously zoom it in and move up and zoom it in properly. But the head size, we can make it look quite out of proportion. Do you know what? Because we got the, uh, that we can make head length. I'm going to fly through it all. Head width. Can I re just reset every time? Re redo. Wait. Head depth. Wait, what does it mean by depth? Okay. Interesting face height. Okay, interesting yet again. Neck length. Mental. Neck thickness. Become Jake Paul. Actually, let me know. What do you think? Jake Paul, Mike Tyson. Who do you think is going to win? Upper body, shoulder width. Wow. Shoulder size. Wow, you could look like Tommy Fury. We'll keep them bigger. Chest thickness. Oh, yeah, that's thick. Chest size. Wait, we just did that, didn't we? No. Yeah, we did. My bad. Torso width. Okay, we got to zoom out here. Torso depth. So you can make yourself look bloated or not. Arm length. Okay, that's not too bad. I thought that was going to be ridiculous as well. We'd go to short. <laughs> short arms. Big body. Yo. Arm size. Okay, their arms just got huge. Upper arm thickness. So we can give big biceps forearm thickness. We can do that as well. So you can literally tweak all of the different parts. Lower body. Waist width. We can get them thick fires yet again. Waist size. Hey, we got that bunda. 
Right, let's go down to rear side. Wait, you can make, you can increase it even more. Leg size overall. Right, we're gonna actually reduce that back down. I'm, I can't. I can't. Let me know in the chat if, or in the comments if you think I should do something ridiculous like that, though. Right, let's let's just get this all back to normal. Let's go to leg size overall. Okay, so that's them thick ones. Wait, that adjusts all of them because it does your calf size and your thigh size. So you can actually make your calves a bit bigger. Right, posture, movement style. Okay, interesting. I didn't really see much. Oh, right, so it's whether you move sluggish or fast. I'm going to go for the fastest. Elbow angle. Oh, so you can walk with your arms like swaying like that or like that. I'm going to do that. It's like a nice little march. Knee angle. You can walk very straight. We're going to walk like that. Why not? Posture. <laughs> you, you walk so proud. Oh, hey, coming in, lads. Oh, oh, you can make yourself a really cool wizard. Where you walk kind of slouched. I like it. Right. We can reset the body. And then we can go over and move to the head. And then when we go into the head, we've got the base head. Okay. So they've got loads of different styles as well that you can go through. Just in case you didn't actually like your first one. Yet again, you can back out. Uh, you go to your skin. You can do all your different skin tones. So you don't look so withdrawn. Skin colors yet again. You go to wrinkles. So if we go to the face, I believe is where we're going to see this. Didn't really see any wrinkles. Skin sheen. So we can literally look like a, a beach boy. Right. We're going to not, not have it so shiny. Let's do it like that at least. Back out. Let's do the brows. The brow height. So we can look like we're interested for our spacing. So we can look like a playboy. Brow depth. Wow, this is crazy, the, the, the amount of customization we can do. We've got a brow angle. Or, or we can make it like that. Like, Yeah, I like that. Brow bend. Some people are going to make some really cool looking characters. I haven't really got the patience for it all. But you've got the eye height, so you can have it high, you can have it low. you got the eye width. The eye depth. You got the eye size overall. So you have big eyes or small eyes. Eye angle. We're going to have it as normal. Left close. You can actually have a single eye closed. Squint. So you can literally squint one eye so it looks like you've been beaten up slightly. You can close your right eye. Yet again, you could do that. We can go to nose. Nose length. Wow. Oh, I want someone so badly to make an actual real life person in the game. The nose. The bridge width, sorry. Bridge height. Bridge bump overall. And you can customize it one by one. We've got the nostril size. We've got the nostril height. Well, isn't it funny how facial expressions change by the way your features are? Nostril width. Tip depth. So we can look like Pinocchio. Tip angle. We can peek it up, peek it down. Tip sharpness. Or we can have it obviously more round. Then we go down to the ears. The ears style. Whoa. Okay. You can literally have Lee Evans ears. Or have them completely normal. What are my ears to start off with? Let me reset my ears. That was what my ears were before. And you could go ahead and change the size of them. 
So you can hear absolutely everything in this game. The angle. Okay. So we can hear stuff above us. We Now we can hear stuff below us. Openness. Is that the center? No, it's the way they peer out or not. Tilt. Okay. Interesting. The tips. Which are the tips? Oh, if you actually look over it, it does highlight it. The lobes. You can have them all droopy or you can have them really tight up. The cheeks. Cheek neck thickness. Or you can actually go ahead and do the bulge all individually. The neck fat all individually. The cheek height. The cheek width. The cheek depth. Yes. The mouth. The mouth height. <laughs> the mouth width. The mouth protrusion, the mouth corners, the lip thickness, <laughs> the lower lip position. We've got the jaw, the jaw definition. So we can see it's kind of like moving around here. The jaw width, so we can look like Giga Brad. I've got to make Giga Brad. That's what I've got to do. If you don't know Giga Brad, go to my Twitch streams Tuesdays and Thursdays. I stream in the evening. The link is in the description down below. But it's IDFSR. E is a free on Twitch.tv. Uh, the jaw. That's what I've got to make, guys. Giga Brad has got to be my character. I have literally got to make Giga Brad. I'm going to have to spend a lot of time on this game trying to do that before the game even drops. And I haven't got long. Because that is definitely what I want to do. The sharpness. But let's go ahead. And that's the reset of the head. The hairstyles. So we have got. Let's have a look exactly how many we got. If we go to one. Can we go backwards? We've got 57 hairstyles. So here's 57. We got the Andrew Tate. We have got the. I don't know what that is. The Bob. I don't know. I don't know the name of these. I'm literally just going to keep spinning so we can see these heads. They're hair. There is so many different hairs to choose from in this game. Really cool cra ca like character creation. Not going to lie. I didn't think it was going to be this in depth. I didn't think it was going to have this many different options in the game. Oh, someone's got to make Andrew Tate. There's going to have to be so many funny things people are going to make. Colt, if you're watching this, make Andrew Tate in the game. Wow. This crater is something else. I haven't seen a crater like this in a long, long, long time. We can look like Princess Leia. I know a lot of you are probably going to be rocking that. I mean, that's a flipping mullet and half. And then we're back to 57 and we're back to 1. We'll just do that for now. The root colours. So we've got all these different colours. I don't know how many colours we got, but currently we're at 170. It was like 200 different colors. Tip colors. So you could even change the highlights. So there's like almost 200 tip. We've got the blend where it blends into the hair. Wow. The sheen position. So I'm guessing that's how it's going to shine. The sheen. Yeah, look at that. Flipping heck. Okay. Let's do eyebrows. So you've got shapes. How many shapes have we got? 20 is shapes. How many colours? Have we got the same amount of colours as the tip of your hair? I believe so. Near on 200. We had 180. Styles of the facial hair. 
So there's quite a lot of facial hair going on here. Currently at 44. Okay, what was that? Is that 44 total? 44 total. And yet again, you've got all of them colours from before as well as the actual being able to blend it in. Um, let me give you an example. So let's choose a big beard. And let's go for a colour. And then let's go for a different tip colour. Let's do the tip blend so we can see it a little bit different. And there you go. You can see how you can actually completely customise that. You've got the sheens as well. You've got the body hair. Oh, so there's only four types. Yet again, you've got all the colour types though. We've got the density of the hair. And then we can reset it there. Now let's move over. We've got makeup. So we're now on the eyes. You can edit each eye separately. But what we're going to do is we're going to go through it. We're going to look at the eye colours. There's only, what, three different eye styles. Eye colour presets. Let's have a look how many presets we've got. We had 44, 48 again. And then you've got all them colours, 188 of different parts. So you've got the iris, the outer iris. The iris size yet again. So you can completely cover that as well as a pupil. Make yourself look like the devil. We've got the eyelashes. So you got up to three types of eyelashes. With all the colours yet again. Root and tip blend. The length. The density. The eye shadow. Only five, but with all the different colours, five different styles, with all the intensity and everything. The eyeliner. We have got quite a lot. We had what was that? Thirteen different eyeliners. All the colours, the coverages, the passities, the eyeliner metallics, the eyeliner sheens. We've got the freckles. Then we've got five different types of freckles. All the different colours. And then you can obviously reduce the opacity to make it so they don't stand out so much. But you can still get the freckles in the, the, the locations. Cheek styles. So we can have blush on the cheeks and stuff like that. We've got four different ones of them. Yet again, you can increase the opacity. Change the metallic to, and create change the sheen to make it look really, really strong. We move down to the lips. We've got five different lip styles. With all the colours. The lip opacity. The metallicness and the lip sheen. The teeth. Oh my god. You can remove your teeth. No way. No way. And you can change the colour of them. 20 different colours. Let's have a look at what we what happens if we reset everything. Now we go over to tattoos, tattoo presets. Wow. Okay, so that's 20 different tattoo presets. And you can completely customize the way the tattoos actually go. So upper body, lower body, arms, the colors of them as well. You can change the position of it so you don't have to have it where it was. You can have it on like your forehead, on the side of your face. You can rotate it. So if you preferred one side, you could do that. You could change the scale of it to cover your like basically your complete body. Wow, this is nuts. I've never seen a creator like this. Well done to the game. You can do everything, changing the patterns, the size, you name it in the second tattoos, you can go ahead and do that as well. You can do obviously the singular arms. 
arms. You can make them. You can do the legs. And then you say if you want that, but you want it in a different area. But you want it up high. You want it to go around the front of the leg. You can go ahead and do that. You can scale it up so it completely covers the whole leg. Scars. You can have scars all over your body. Up to how many? Up to nine different types of scars. You can edit the scars completely, same as before. Dirt patterns. Up to three with the dirt color being up to 10, 11, 11, 12 different dirt colors. Dirt coverage. You can see there we've got dirty body and the opacity. So you can make it look like you're pretty barren and reset tattoos and markings. So that is the character creation. Now if I go to what vocation, I could choose them a fighter, an archer, a mage, and a thief. We look at fighter. Fighter battles their enemies in close quarters, wood and a sword and shield. Their mighty attacks and counter attacks allow them to cut down foes with ease. Vocation can be changed later. The archer archers wield the bow, striking down foes from a distance. Their arrows are quick to find enemy weak points. Turning the tide of battle vocation can be changed later as well. The mage, yet again, mages use their staves to cast a variety of spells. Their commands of enchantments and creative magics make them a helpful addition to any party. Thief, thieves appear in a flash of daggers on the battlefield too quick for the eye. Their speed and agility allow them to break through the enemy's guard with ease. Vocation can be changed later. Voice. So you've got all the different voice patterns as well. Uh, can we hear it? We can't, unfortunately, hear it, which is kind of annoying. And we can do that. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the character creation here on Dragon's Dogma. I'm going to go ahead and try and make Giga Brad. And if you don't know what Giga Brad is, let me help you out and put it on the screen. That, that you see creeping in, is Giga Brad in his Death Wish Speedos. So, we're going to try and turn that character into this. So, without further ado, like, follow, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.